All right, so I'm going to share something with you guys that I haven't even told my wife. Um, my wife and I tell each other everything. We don't keep secrets, but except for this. Um, so I have worms, and um, I don't know how to tell her because she's one of these neat freaks who likes to um, have everything organized, and it's it's a great trait to have. But um, anyway, let me just show you. So, oh, it's locked. Which is good. Um, I've had worms for probably six months, and um, and they've always been out in the garage or the shop in a bin. And then it got too cold, so I had to move them up to my work for a little while just to keep them out of the cold. But um, I, I kind of had to bring them home because I have to do some work with them. So I moved them into our mechanical room. So I have got a big worm bin here, and then I have these three worm bins that are going, that are pretty active. And let me just switch my camera around here. And then I have the ones that are labeled A, B, C, and D. Those are bins that I have to, that I'm starting um, probably tonight. So I have red wigglers in here. Let's see, let me try and focus in there. And they are chewing through all of this stuff pretty quick. So I started out, I, this isn't my first, I, I've been doing worms for probably six months or something or so. Now I haven't said anything just because on the channel, just because I've been experimenting and figuring it out. And it takes a little bit of figuring out to get it right. Um, and I didn't want to start putting videos out and spreading false information just because um, there's a lot of misinformation out there and it's, it can be kind of intimidating or, or um, complicated if you're not getting good information. So yeah, these guys are very... There's a lot of worms in here and I think I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to screen some out using this screener that I made out of a bucket with some rivets. So this is my screener. And this is my original bin here that I've been I've had going for probably six months. And these three I started a little bit later. Um, I was just trying a new experiment. Now today Hannah we're sitting around the we're sitting around the kitchen table. And Hannah's like, I've got to figure out where these were, these flies are coming from. So it's like, oh shoot, I know where the flies are coming from. They're coming from my worm bins. So she's going around the house trying to figure out where the drain flies. She thinks they're coming out of the drains. And um, I'm trying to keep a straight face because I know exactly where the worms, the flies are going. They're coming out of here. So you get flies when you don't bury your food scraps in the worm castings properly and I'll do a whole video on how I do the worms at a later date this isn't gonna be one of those videos but you uh, you have to feed them and I have learned that if you're gonna do a worm bin and you have food you have to bury the food down deep enough so that the flies can't lay eggs in it the other thing is I use horse manure in this bin here as well as one of those three and there's flies in the horse manure so that causes flies so if you're gonna have indoor worm bins you either have to have a screen on top or you have to be very careful and manage your your food really well so anyway that's enough chit chat i'm gonna i'm going to uh try and screen out a couple of these trays quick down here um yeah okay i'm gonna set it up and then i'll turn the camera back on All right, so like I already mentioned, these three, or sorry, these four bins in the back are the active bins. And these four here are bins that are, they're, I've prepped them, I've got the bedding already, and I'm putting worms into these bins to populate them. I, put, I set these up probably two weeks ago. Um, it's always good to set your bins up beforehand 
That way they, you know, they all get settled and figured out before you add the worms. So these ones are ready to go. The reason they are labeled A, B, C, and D is I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. And I don't, I can't remember exactly which way I've done it, but I have a spreadsheet. Um, two of them are basically just a peat. So I should explain. These are just breeder bins. They're smaller bins. There's that you put a bunch of worms in there. They're in close contact and supposedly they breed quicker. Um, so the, the A and B or two of them are just a peat moss mix and there's going to be food. Um, one, another one is going to be, I believe, peat moss and coffee grinds. And then the third one, which I think is this one, this is going to be more like a manure. Yeah, see, this one is, that's just horse manure or rabbit manure. It's a mixture of horse and rabbit manure. So I wanted to do an experiment and just figure out um, which way works best. I have tons of, of horse manure. I have access to rabbit manure, um, but it's been suggested to use peat moss. And part of the reason for that is because it's much easier to strain out the worms when they're just growing in a fine peat moss like that. There's no clumps, there's no lumps or anything like that. So I'm assuming that will work the best, but I wanted to see if after there's, I weighed all these bins and there's the same weight of bedding. And I want to see over time, which bin has the most, breeds the most worms. So every time I screen them, I'm going to have to record how many worms I take out of each one. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So to start each bin, I'm going to put 200. I'll have to look this up on my phone, but I believe I wrote down, I'm going to start each one with 250 grams of worms. So I'm going to grab Hannah's kitchen scale. And, um, and then I'm going to put the exact same amount of food in each bin. And I, I don't know the amount of food off the top of my head. That doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm going to go grab the scale and then I'll start sifting. All right, so I have Hannah's kitchen scale. I have one of our mixing bowls and uh, we're going to start sifting worms. Go to bed. Go to bed. This is a surprise. Listen, come here. Come here. You are not allowed to tell mom. This is a secret. Okay? You can only tell mom when I tell you, okay? In, in one week, you can tell mom, okay? You don't tell mommy, okay? What are you doing down here? You're supposed to be in bed. Okay. Are you wanting to play your games? Yes. I'm going to bed. Okay. You go to sleep now, okay? <laughs> go straight to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> this is actually proven to be a lot harder than I thought because my uh, my castings are pretty wet and they're all um, clumping together and they're not sifting well. So I might just pour them in a pile and then I'll just kind of let the worms go to the center. The worms don't like light, so they're going to dive down into this into this bottom of this mix here and then I should be able to get a fairly concentrated batch of worms in there so there's fairly few worms in this top I think they're all sinking down to the bottom This is the bin that I just sifted, and I have sifted a lot of worms out of it. Let's see when I lift it over how many worms are in there. So these are the ones I'm going to start a new bin with. Now I'm not sure exactly how many are in here, I'm gonna, because there is a fair amount of castings in with them, but I'm just going to have to, um, that's just going to have to work for the experiment. It's not going to be an exact science, but... Um, it'll be just fine. So this bin, I'm going to feed them quick and I basically just feed them chicken feed. Um, and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of, uh, eggshell on top 
just for a um, some grit. All right, so there are far more worms in there than I thought. So um, I am going to, obviously my screener isn't working properly. I'm gonna have to rethink that. Um, but another thing I'm gonna try is a bait cup. So I'm going to use this old grape container or whatever it is, blackberry um, thing. I'm gonna chop up some scraps, put them in here and I'll leave it in there for two or three weeks. And then I'll be able to, hopefully all the worms will go into here and I'll be able to bait them out. So I've scraped off, like as the worms sink to the bottom, I'm scraping off castings and I'm separating them into this bin. And I'm doing the same thing to these guys. Just trying to get the worms concentrated in the bottom and get as many of the castings out as I can. Because these are the ones going into my experiment. I got one bin left to fill. And these, this worm farm is very heavily populated and I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to dig out some of the castings. So I'm, I've been digging out um, worm-free castings as well as worm-free as I can. And um, these I'm putting into that pail and I'm just going to, I'm going to uh, let all the small worms, I'm going to put a bait cup just like this one in there and I'm just gonna slowly try and get all the worms out and uh, as the cocoons ha as the cocoons hatch I'm going to uh, try and get all the worms out then I'll use that in the garden in the spring so I don't know if you can hear the worms squirming but it's it's amazing how not quiet it is So I've pulled 250 grams times four out of my three, of my bins so far, and uh, a whole bunch of the castings. And I'm gonna have to do this again pretty soon because these I'm very very shocked at how quickly these things multiplied. It starts out slow. It starts out like you can't even tell, and then boom, before you know it. So. Um, I'm putting this in here. I'm hoping that, you know, I come back here in two weeks. And uh, because I've, I've been trying to let this worm bin dry up, meaning I haven't been feeding it that much. So the worms are hungry. So now I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'll maybe even check on it in a week. And um, I'm hoping that will be a good way to separate worms a little more efficiently. This won't be a big deal once I get a proper setup in the garage but for now I'm gonna give this a shot so I'm gonna cover this all back up with the cardboard and the plastic and I'm gonna set all the I've got to put 250 grams of worms into that bucket and then everything can go away and then I'll clean up
And this sheet of plastic just helps hold the moisture in. So I don't, because I never really add water to these bins. I just, uh, this just helps so much. So this bowl, I'm hoping there's actually even enough worms in here. Now that I'm looking at it. But I've got most of the castings out. That's pretty much all worms.